Hi everybody and welcome to our week weekly porch coffee. This one's going to be a little bit different. We're no longer doing short form for porch coffee. I feel like we got a lot more to say in the weekly porch coffees so the shorts just not fitting it. So today we're going to talk about how everyone is just settled into the fact that negativity is the new normal and the status quo. You guys want some good evidence of this? Look back about 10, 15, 20 years. Um, it may be different based on country, so it's a generalization. Uh, for me, I can talk mostly about the US, but in any event, 10 to 20 years ago when a political ad came on, that candidate actually had to tell you what they were going to do for you as a constituent and actually earn your vote. If you look at political ads today, try to find one ad like that. Um, with the exception, I believe Bear, Bernie Sanders had some, um, and this isn't like, you know, I'm not politically affiliated at all. I'm a countryman, I'm an American, so like I don't believe in any of that politics stuff. But in any event, I believe Bernie Sanders was one of the last most recent people that actually did tell you what he wanted to do for the country. If you look at political ads these days, everybody's talking about how shitty the other person is, but they don't actually like come forward and tell you what they're going to do for you. The truth is they're probably not going to do anything for you. Um, the world is in this like hype where everybody has to be divided, everyone has to be against each other, and the media drives that to everybody and everybody just blindly accepts that because to be honest, people in large groups are dumb as fuck. They are. Um, if you're not thinking individually, you're not necessarily doing it right. And it's not that people in large groups have to be that way. Um, there are definitely exceptions to the rule, but it seems like lately in society, things have just become more of the norm to be that way as opposed to, you know, when people got together collectively to solve problems and make the world a better place, now they just get together collectively to cancel people, shit on people, um, push their narrative, push their agenda, as opposed to actually trying to find a real solution to things and make things better. So, if you think about it, think long and hard actually I, I i implore you to think long and hard about the things that you're seeing with your own two eyes every day and put them forward to exactly the words that i'm saying and tell me i'm wrong you won't be able to because that's exactly what is going on in the world today um, it doesn't have to be that way though as far as myself um, i've chosen that i'm going to take a more positive approach to things i'm going to lift people up when they're not feeling their best. I'm gonna wish people well when they're sick or when they're mourning someone because those are important things. Those are things that are valuable to society, value to people, value to you and me. Uh, a good morning, a good evening, a good day, a good night. Something that takes a second out of your day and could be completely what you might think is meaningless could be the world to someone else. And you have the power to do that. Instead, a lot of people would rather say, oh, I gotta cancel this fucker because he did this, or I have to cancel this person because they did that, or I hate this person because they're a Republican, or I hate this person because they're a Democrat. Stop. You're feeding into the narrative that's being pushed to you. You're not a lion, you're a sheep. You are never going to be aligned with that kind of mentality. Take the time and think for yourself. Think about what you want the world to be, what, what your vision of the world is, and be that vessel to start promoting that positivity that, well, I guess unless you're promoting negativity, then you know, don't do that, but make the world a better place. It's your, it's your chance to put yourself out in the world. It's your chance to be the representative of the world that you want to live in that you want to see your kids live in, that you want to see your grandkids live in, and their grandkids, and their grandkids. It all starts with you. So, be that perfect you. Be the best you. Be the you that is going to try to improve themselves every day, and be the you that's going to put it down for other people. So, in closing, for the love of God, stop believing everything you see on TV. Go out there, think for yourself, Start making choices for yourself and start building a life that you want to live, that you will be proud to live.
instead of seeking acceptance from people who really don't care about you at the end of the day as long as you're doing what they tell you to. Have a great week, everybody, and we will see you next week. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment.